Mm-hmm. You know, Corey Bush uh, tweeted out today um, something that's very concerning for me. And I think a lot of the progressives who are being threatened at this point, just like the election um, officials, if my brother was here, um, I know he would uh, uh, be an inspector. And I wonder if he would want to, um, because the climate has changed so much. Now, some of these people are going to be uh, arrested, of course, but they still working under the auspices of being threatened. Okay. Un and having drop boxes removed and all kinds of other tactics that the Republican Party want to use to stop people from voting or to at least make it more difficult. But I was really, um, in agreement with what Cor uh, Corey Bush said, it's, it's very important. This is, she tweeted out something today that I'm telling you is really what has to happen. You know, it's, it's a scripture that, that, that speaks to asking God not to make you so rich that you you cease to know that everybody's not you you know you don't care about that in other words that so don't make me so rich that I forget the people that aren't and then don't make me so poor that I have to steal and I'm hungry and I, so there has to be a balance in between there and um but that's not happening the greed and the greed, the greed, the greed, which is one of the seven deadly sins. The greed. Greed is a very, very, very destructive. Uh, it's a bad character. Anyway, the truth is that we need lawmakers to be victims. I'm not praying that any of these people get hurt or harmed, but 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 Fox News is literally out here advocating for me to face violence. I'm just going to keep working to get justice. Y'all stay mad and be blessed. Now, this is coming from a person who really knows poverty. This is coming from a person that's really out here trying to work for the people. And then here's what happens. And I wish the politicians. Now, these progressive people like this, like Cori Bush, Nina Turner, they'll tell you the truth. I wanted to serve the people. But when they get to Washington, D.C., and they see the corruption and the money and the lobbyists and the, it's very easy to just sell you, sell your soul. Look at Nancy Pelosi, 81 years old, and she won't go sit her ass down. Tell me she's gonna run again. Why? So she can just sit up in there and just keep collecting them checks. And, and and giving more inside trading uh, uh, information to people that she know. That's what we're doing now. This game has got to stop. America is falling. And them is the kind of people that's saying, let them eat cake. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, all these goddamn um, hypocrites who don't give a damn about the poor person. Black or white. That's why I said when you understand what's really going on, we on the same team. It's those elite bastards that sit there and can inside trade and can inside stock and do everything, but then don't want to give a working hard mama a damn extra credit. 
a child, a child tax credit, don't even want to give a worker $15 an hour. These elitist people got to go. And don't think they only in America. When you travel to Africa and you see the most richest continent in the world, the continent that feeds all these other con uh, uh, countries that don't got shit. Africa got it all. Self-sustaining. All the minerals, all the food. My friend always tell me about, wait, I can't wait to get there. We throw seeds on the ground and I watch them just come up. Mango trees, avocado trees, banana trees. I go to the store, I got to buy all this stuff. They just throw it on the ground. The shit grow, but there's no infrastructure. And it's a reason why the white man want to keep Africa down. So they can have a playground. And these, so the elite Negroes in Africa are in bed with these Chinese or in bed with some of these Western countries and doing all sorts of mannerism uh, evil to their own people. It's the same shit. And they don't have a democracy. Some of them, some of them, they say they do, but oh well. We don't have a democracy. It's dying every minute. It was an illusion all the time. I don't have a damn democracy and putting all black people in jail and for the same crimes that white people go home to their families with. So we got some problems over here. And like she said, the harsh truth is we need these lawmakers to be victims because they don't understand. Once they get up in Washington, D.C., they done with this. I don't even care if they came from this. When that money start pouring in on them. Greed. Deception. Lover of themselves and not mankind. I hear that song that Gino Vanelli sings. Where are the summers of my life? Hmm. I agree with you, Sister Corey Bush. I agree with you. I agree with you. They need to be victims. And, and unlike you, though, I don't even, at this point, I don't care what happened to them. Just like they don't give a damn about what happens to me. I'll see y'all in the next video.